Once upon a time in the projects. Condo, homeboy in a homemade bungalow. In the middle of the end of the game in one way street. Dear diary, the word for today is <laughs> this must be the coldest day of the year. The temperature outside is harsh and unbearable as Leo, my... can I get some ice cubes, please? It's called Kool-Aid, not warm-aid. Coming! Thurgood, it's so cold in here. Yeah, but it's a dry cold. Well, I want a warm cold. Couldn't you turn on the heat? Now, now Miriam, you know HUD is only giving me a certain amount of heating oil. I can't turn on the furnace till I'm absolutely sure it's winter. But we're freezing to death. Better that than we get to the end of the winter and we have no heating oil left. Now, where would that leave us, huh, Muriel? Freezing to death? Exactly, Muriel. Now we're here. Now we're here. I'm here to spew my hate. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, no. I can't spew long. Super! Look at this bunion. You know what that means? That you are part buzzard? It means a storm's coming. Now, when are you going to turn on the heat? And what are you worried about? You made it through one ice age, didn't you? Super, there's a storm a-coming. Oh, let me guess. You crawled out of your hole and saw your shadow. Please, that's superstition. I prefer science. If we go to the chicken guts, we can clearly see a cold front coming up from the gizzards, bringing temperatures in the mid-twenties by tomorrow. Now, here's monkey brains with the traffic. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. No more mojo. Spill your guts all you want. But I ain't turning on that heat till winter. And winter don't officially start until... Juicy's tongue is stuck to a pole! Now it's winter! I'm never there! <laughs> well, you come on, Muriel, let's go! I want to get down the hood while they still have some winter supplies left! Very good, put on your coat, you'll catch your death! Muriel, will you stop treating me like a child? You know I do run this entire building, don't you? And you do a great job! Did you put on your mittens? Yeah, tennis act like I'm some kind of incompetent or something! These mittens don't fit. Left hand, they're good. Oh, 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 yes, yes, left, 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 right. These people would be completely helpless without me. Where's Mr. Scar? There you go, they're good. You're all ready. Hey, what about you? I'm wearing my brand new leg warmers. You got leg warmers? Next. Oh, you again. What'd you break now? <clears throat> yeah, I'm here to pick up some winter supplies. Winter supplies come in July. Next. Hey, 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 hold on now. Oh, hi, Mrs. Stubbs. I didn't see you standing there. Girl, you're looking good. Well, thank you. And how are your kids? You know, lasagna had deck tuplets. But you don't see her on Time Magazine with her teeth all fixed. Congratulations. What are the names? There's Rwanda, Dorito, Rolex, Neutrogena, mm. Teflon, DKNY, Lexus, Dyslexus, Dentine and Absorbing Junior. Uh, so what brings you here, Mrs. Stubbs? We need winter supplies. Oh, why didn't you say so? Just take those boxes over there. But you just told me that... Next! Hmm. The city council says the measure would effectively repeal the 14th Amendment. Now in weather, meteorologists are predicting a massive storm system they're calling El Negro. All right, they finally named one after us. This storm threatens to break all records for destructiveness. Whoa. Go, storm! Go, storm. Go, storm. Go, storm. All right, people. You heard the man. There's a storm coming, and we need to get this building in shape. If that snow hits these projects hard, it could cause tens of dollars of damage. <gasps> okay, then. Let's fight the powder. Now that's using your head, boy. Storing up food for the storm, huh? There's a storm? Hey, what's that front doing? Now, where did that come from? A license plate says it's from the federal government. Attention, urban poor. The federal health department, in conjunction with the Center for Minority Control, is here today with complimentary flu shots. Complimentary means free. Oh, it's free? Oh, it's free. Oh, it's free. Oh, it's free. 
Okay. Oh, Three needles? God is good. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! What the hell, Hop, are you people doing? Have you forgotten all your conspiracy learnings? Listen, the government uses projects to test all kinds of poisons. Syphilis, crack, the mixed chitlins. <gasps> Those chitlins made me mix sick! Now you see what I'm talking about. Hold on, everybody. This is a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. And we, the people. I'm sure there's nothing to fear. Thank you, Mrs. Stubbs. How do you know my name? Because we're your friends. Now come on over here and drop your pants. Hey. No, Muriel, it's a trick. Oh. It's just a flu shot. Don't listen to that fool. Aha! Flu! F-L-U! Fool! F-U-L! Coincidence? I don't think so! Come on, people! Let's tell them they can take their flu shots and shove them up their arsenios! Yeah! Just leave me my Medicare, Medicaid, food stamps, and Social Security, and I'll be fine with no help from nobody! Yeah! Hold up! Step back! Go black! Go black! All right, you just find another way to get your DNA! Good riddance! We were healthy before you got here, and we'll be healthy long after you're gone. <laughs> oh, I don't feel so good, Goody. I have a fever, a sore throat, and other flu-like symptoms. Mm -hmm. And I know what y'all are thinking, but she said flu-like symptoms. That could be anything. Could be a uh, appendicitis. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's appendicitis for sure. That's appendicitis. Well, I feel a little queasy, like I just got off a roller coaster. Maybe you're pregnant. Girl, oh, please. Goody. It's the flu. Oh, great. Your wife's got the virus and we're all at risk. Now we gotta find a little monkey for the antidote. Oh, oh great. great. I'm sorry, Thurgood. I spoiled your victory against the man. It's okay, Miriam. Look, you know, don't you worry, neither. I'll take care of you. Starting now. Don't you worry, Muriel. BB's here to take care of you. Hey, hey, easy now. Muriel, you my sister and I love you. But BB don't change no funky sheets. I'll fix it up right quick. All I need is an onion, some mulberries, and a 12-inch buck knife. All right, all right, everybody out, you cackling hens. But Mom woke herself stay up all night making chicken noodle soup. It's Haitian penicillin, you know. Right, right, because we all know that Haiti's the health capital of the world, don't we? Now, come on, get out. Go, go, hey, get hey. They're good. Maybe B.B. should stay and give you a hand. What for? Muriel, I am perfectly able to take care of my own wife. Now, open wide, darling. Oh, my eye! Hold on. Oh. There you go, honey. No more need for projectile. Just turn your head and slam dunk. Take it to the hole! Take it to the hole, Muriel! That's okay. I blocked it. Now look what good he got you. A book on tape. See, it's read by my favorite, Wheezy Jefferson. Moby Dick by Herman Melville. Chapter One. Hmm? Call me yes. Ishmael. Oh, God, there's 800 pages. That's very sweet. Oh! Thurgood, my journal! Where's my journal? Oh, well, calm down, calm down. It's right here. I got your journal right here, baby. Here it is. <sighs> You're so thorough and good, Thurgood. Now listen, darling. If you need anything, anything at all, just give a toot, and in I'll scoot. <laughs> oh, good, it works. Is there something I can do for you, baby? Can you tuck me in? Oh, but of course, my sweet. There, snug as a bug. Now, I'll be watching TV, but don't worry. I'm just an ear-splitting blast away. <sighs> what is it? You okay? Something wrong? I finished the Kleenex. Oh, for the love of God. Now, who would think that all this could come from such a sweet little button nose? <laughs> Ooh, we won't be pushing on that anymore, will we? <laughs> Huh? What'd I miss? What'd I miss? How about a big hand for Vanna? <laughs> I can't believe your top flew open on live oh. TV. <laughs> That'll never happen again. <laughs> nice ones. <laughs> oh. Whoa! It happened.
happened again? What are the odds of that? Hmm. Looks like we're showing a pair of tees. <laughs> uh, yes, my precious. Juice. Okay, juice I can do. Here you are, my love. Now I want you to take a little nap. And when you wake up, you'll have yourself a full glass of freshly squeezed juice. But I'm not tired. <laughs> yes, my sweet, but I have to go and check on the boiler. Now, as much as I love waiting on you hand and foot, I do have responsibilities to this building and the people in it. Okay, Snooky? Okay. <laughs> yes? I was just saying I love you. See? I love you. Yeah, I love you, too. You want to say it with the horn? Not really. <laughs> Did you fix the furnace? Muriel, I was on the lamp. I need some aspirin. My body aches all over. All right, all right. I'll give you some aspirin. <laughs> Where are you going? To get the aspirin. Don't leave me. I can't just make the aspirin appear from thin air. I'm black, but I'm not black stone now. You're yelling at me. <laughs> Muriel, it was a joke. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> what are you boys doing? Making snow victims, Mrs. Hudson. Look, Bobo, I'm a statistic. Juicy, get your skinny behind upstairs. There's a storm coming. <laughs> What's all this? This is what you wanted, right? Oh, good. You know I can't take jail caps. You know they stick to the back of my throat. You know that. Right. I do? Oh, I do? Oh, yeah, I know that. Oh, I guess I could choke a couple of these down. Oh, oh the says you're supposed to say these will fold. I ain't no slave. I'm a man. Let's see here. Oh, quickies. This is going to be easy. Now, well, what the hell is a spatula? Bon appetit. Oh. <laughs> oh, now, 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 calm down, calm down, Muriel. Listen, I had the same reaction the first time I saw it. But if you just sit with it for a while. Oh, I'm saying this to a sick person. You could have been more thoughtful. I'm trying. I am trying. <laughs> Listen, Muriel, I will make you anything you like. Just tell me what you want, okay? A can of chicken noodle soup. But that's mine. Oh, good. Oh, no, 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 that's okay, that's okay. I I'll make it for you. Don't bother. I just want to go to sleep. All this disappointment has tired me out. <sighs> Miriam? Miriam? You asleep? Oh, peace at last. Oh, Beaver and Eldridge Cleaver. Uh, commercial. Time for a quick cat nap. All I need is one minute. That'll leave me refreshed and ready to go. Uh, uh, Hello! Uh oh, I am in deep Shaquille. Please let it be sleep. Please let it be sleep. Hey, brother in law. Uh, what are you doing here? What's going on? Where's Miriam? That's why I'm here. To tell you they took her to county. To county jail? Worse, my brother. County Hospital. You in trouble. What? I'm looking for my wife. They said she was here. Is she here? Name? Muriel Stubbs. Just a minute. Yeah, Let's yeah. see. Stubbs. Dead on arrival. Next. Oh, God. No, Lord. No, Lord. No, my Muriel. Lord, my Muriel's dead. Muriel. Muriel, take me too, Lord. Take me too. Take me too, sweet Jesus, Muriel. Muriel? Oh, I thought you said Miriam, Stubbs. <laughs> my Miriam's dead. Muriel, you're alive. <laughs> Out of my way. Well, well, well. If it isn't that good for nothing. Bibi, can you please leave me alone with my wife? Don't mind me. I'll be over here. <clears throat> uh, Muriel, um, uh, there's a good explanation. Hey! But first, tell me, are you okay? Yes. No, 
I woke up with the fever. I was delirious and you weren't there. You were delirious? I was there. You were not there. You don't just abandon someone in their hour of need. Or have you forgotten those vows you took at our wedding? No, 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 I remember. I remember perfectly well, Muriel. I, 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 I Thurgood X take this proud Nubian soul sister to, to be my Funkadelic super freak. No! The part where you promised to care for me in sickness and in health. But I just... All these years I took care of you. And the one time, the one time I needed you, you weren't there. Can we go best two out of three? Thurgood. I'm too weak to talk about this now. Just go on home. My sister BB will take care of me. Don't let him get to you, girl. You know how men are. They don't care about nobody but themselves, especially Thurgood. That's right. Him Muriel lies dead as a doornail. And he's got the nerve to be downstairs with his boys. Miss Avery, I'm not dead. Then what are we doing here? And why did I make a sponge cake? Why can't men ever think about our needs? Yeah, they all want hex on the first date. But sometimes I just want to cuddle. Well, what do you do? Usually I send them off with a little head. I mean, I did everything I could, you know. She wanted alcohol rubbed down, I gave her one. I mean, how was I supposed to know that a 40 would make her sticky? You did nothing wrong, brother. The only crime we men are guilty of is being men. Black men. You are not black. Why you gotta diss me, brother? Let's face it, they take us for granted. They think it's okay to ignore us and treat us like we don't if really... If you psychoanalyze it, the problem starts when men choose women who are just like their mamas. Take me, for example. I seem to always choose hookers with a heart of gold. Well, you all know me, and y'all know I'm a fixer. But I'ma tell y'all, I have no idea how to fix this thing. I'm willing to do anything, too, absolutely anything. Maybe you should watch less Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, and maybe you should learn sign language. You should have known better than to rely on Thurgood. Let's face it, men just aren't as good caretakers as us. Well, he tried his hardest. And he did do everything I asked. I just wished that sometimes I didn't have to ask. My journal. Where's my journal? I need my journal. Oh, I think we left it at the hospital. Can't it wait till tomorrow? No, I always write in it first thing in the morning. Would you go get it for your baby sister? Muriel, you're my sister and I love you, but BB ain't going out in that storm for nobody. Muriel, don't worry. I'll get that journal for you. I just hope I make it before the storm hits. Come on, storm, do me a solid. Negro to El Negro. Storm coming, super. One crawl on my mattress. We can spoon. Hello, hello. Did somebody find a journal that my wife left here? Hey, LeVan, you got that journal about the man with the laser sperm? Stop laughing, fool. He here. Look at the size of this stone. This is one big El Negro. What do you think I'm doing? Well, get up there and frisk him. And freeze my butt up. You frisk him. Oh, for the love of... You, out there, lay down on the ground and frisk yourself. What? You heard us. Car 32451 in progress. All right, we've got to go. So just rough yourself up a bit and make it look like a black-on-black -black crime. Well, technically it is. Oh, oh, very good. Journal. Must get Muriel. Journal. Don't think you can make it. Why, me, Sal, like Tonto. Was right from a heart. Heart stopping. Cold. It is finished. I'm alive. I made it. Great day in the Alonzo moment. Wait, not out of the Tiger Woods yet. Wait, get me some hot water and cocoa. Oh, the storm has stopped. 
What a beautiful morning. I've got to write this in my journal. Oh, oh that's right. Is this what your heart desires, my sweet? My journal? But, Goody, where'd you get it? Got it from the hospital, which is where I, where I should be right now. <coughs> oh. Oh. You know, I'm sorry for everything, Muriel. It was all my fault and just didn't give enough. No, it's my fault. I asked too much. Somebody's been writing in my journal. What? <coughs> oh, dear, don't, don't, don't read that, Muriel. I was in a, a fever dream when I wrote it. What is it? It's a phrase like, like they do on the wheel. Oh, let's play. Is there an I? Ding! Is there an L? Ding! Is there a V? Ding! I'd like to buy an O. No, there are no O's. No O's there. No O? Is there a U? Three of them. <laughs> I thought so. I love you too, Goody. What is it, Thurgood? I want a peanut butter on top and spam jelly on the bottom. Turn the sandwich over, Goody. Well, I'll be.